Lesson 2.6, multiply using expanded form. It's really important you saw the two previous videos, 2.4, 2.5, that are linked in the description. Expanded form is a way to write numbers by showing the value of each digit. We have 237. It's equal to 200 plus 30 plus 7. And we first learned about that back in video 1.2, which is linked in the description. We can use expanded form to multiply a multi-digit number by a one-digit number. And multi-digit means many digits. We can write the greater factor in expanded form. Then we can use the distributive property to multiply each addend by the one-digit number and add the partial products to find the product. We have 3 times 237. We write 3 times, then 200 plus 30 plus 7. The 237 is an expanded form. We can use the distributive property to multiply 3 times 200, 3 times 30, and 3 times 7. 3 times 200 is equal to 600. 3 times 30 is equal to 90. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. These are our partial products. We add them together, and we can look at it in a model as breaking the 237 into a 230 and 7. 3 times 200 is 600. 3 times 30 is 90. And 3 times 7 is 21. When we add the partial products, we get 711. 3 times 237 is equal to 711, and that's our product. We found that 3 times 237 is equal to 711. We can use a low and high estimation of 237 to see if our product is a reasonable answer. We learned how to do that in video 2.4. We have 3 times 200, if we're using a low estimate, 237 is in between 200 and 300, isn't it? So we do 200 here, we do 3 times the 200 is equal to 600, and our high estimate would be 300, 3 times 300 is equal to 900, and 711 is between 600 and 900, so our answer is reasonable. We write a number in expanded form by writing the number as a sum of the value of each digit, starting with the greatest place value. For 237, we start with the greatest place value, the hundreds, and we write that there are two hundreds, there are three tens, which are 30, and there are seven ones, which is a seven. We have 200 plus 30 plus seven in expanded form. To use the distributive property, we multiply each addend in expanded form to the one-digit factor to make partial products. Then we add the partial products to find the full product. We learned that in the last video, 2.5. And the amount of place values in our expanded form will be the amount of addends we have as partial products. We have 205 is equal to 200 plus Five. There's only two add-ends. We have two partial products. See, there were zero tens, so we didn't list it. We just did the hundreds and the five. If we had 3,205, we would do 3,000 plus 200 plus the five. Again, there's zero tens, so we didn't list it in expanded form. We have three add-ends, we have three partial products. Our model of the distributive property shows each box represents multiplying an add-end in expanded form by the one-digit number. Four times 205, we have 200 plus five. We multiply it times four. 
We have 4 times 200 is 800. We have 4 times 5, which is equal to 20. We add the 800 plus 20, it's equal to 820. And there are no tens, so we don't write them in expanded form. Writing a zero doesn't change the sum. If we added zero, it would still be 820. Emma walks 723 yards from her home to her school. How many yards did Emma walk to and from school on Monday and Tuesday? So to better understand the problem, I drew myself a little picture. Here's her home, here's her school, and when she walks from her home to her school, it's 723 yards. Well, it says to and from, so that means at the end of the school day, she's going to walk back home another 723 yards, and she's going to do the same thing on Tuesday. That means we have 4 times 723. We break the 723 into a 700 plus a 20 plus a 3. We use the distributive property and multiply 4 times 700, 4 times 20, and 4 times 3. 4 times 700 is equal to 2,800, 2,800. 4 times 20 is equal to 80, and 4 times 3 is equal to 12. These are our partial products. It's not the full product yet. We add the partial products, and we get 2,892 yards. And do you see I wrote yards here, so I labeled my answer, which you need to do in a word problem. For those who need it, we'll do a couple more quick ones before we move on. We have 5 times 37. We break the 37 into a 30 plus 7. We do 5 times 30, which is 150, and 5 times 7, which is 35. We add them together and get 185. If we had 5 times 637, now we have 5 times 600 plus 5 times 30 plus 5 times 7. 5 times 600 is 3,000. 5 times 30 is equal to 150. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Those are our partial products. We add them and get 3,185. And we can use expanded form and the distributive property to multiply a one-digit number by any multi-digit number. We can even multiply a one-digit number by a number in the millions. Here we have 4 times 3,215. We expand this factor as 3,000 plus 200 plus 10 plus 5. And we distribute. The 4 to the 3,000, so we have 4 times 3,000. The 4 to the 200, so we have 4 times 200. The 4 to the 10, so we have 4 times 10. And the 4 to the 5, so we have 4 times 5. 4 times 3,000 is 12,000. 4 times 200 is 800. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. And 4 times 5 is equal to 20. We add our partial products and get 12,000. 860. 18 students joined the chess club. There were three times that much that joined the choir and two times that amount that joined the art club. How many students joined the choir and art club? We need to multiply 18 times 3 to find how many joined the choir. Next we need to multiply 18 times 2 to find how many join the art club. Then we need to add the products to get a total. We have 3 times 18, which is equal to 3 times 10 plus 3 times 8. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 8 is 24. We add them together and get 54. For 2 times 18, we have 2 times 10 plus 2 times 8. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. 2 times 8 is equal to 16, and our partial product is 36. We add the partial products, 54 plus 36, we get 90 students, 
that joined the choir and art club. Now if you notice, we were multiplying 18 to 3 and 18 to 2. Since it's 3 times 18 and 2 times 18, we could multiply 5 times 18 and do 5 times 10 plus 5 times 8 to get partial products then add them together. Lisa baked eight trays of cookies. Each tray had 15 cookies. She sold 52 of the cookies. How many cookies does she have left? So we need to multiply eight times the 15 cookies that are on each tray. Then we need to subtract 52 from that. Eight times 15 is equal to eight times 10 plus five. Using the distributive property, we have 8 times 10 plus 8 times 5. 8 times 10 is equal to 80. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. We add our partial products and get 120 cookies. So that's how many she made in all. We're not done yet. We need to subtract the 52 cookies she sold to find out how many she has left. We do 120 minus 52 and we see that she has 68 cookies left. Complete the blank spaces to show how to multiply 7 times 453 using the expanded form of a factor and the distributive property. Now do you notice it doesn't say to solve it, it just says to complete the blank spaces. So we have 7 times 453. That means we have 7 times we need to write 453 in expanded form here. So do you know what goes there? If you said 400, you're right. Do you know what goes here? If you said 50, you're right. And do you know what goes in the last blank space right here? If you said 3, you're correct. Now what goes into this blank space? If you said 400, you're right. We're doing 7 times 400. What goes into this space? It's 50. We did 7 times 400. Now we're doing 7 times 50. Do you know what goes there? If you said 3, you're correct. We use the distributive property to do 7 times 400, 7 times 50, and 7 times 3. When we multiply these, we'll get our partial products, won't we? In our next lesson, 2.7, we're going to use place value and partial products to multiply by a one-digit number, and it'll look like this. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.